Hey everybody, welcome back. Working on Joey's engine here today. Uh, it's an L head for his CJ3A. <clears throat> you see I've got my uh, crank end play uh, spacers on here. Uh, we got his end play set with one shim at four and a half thousandths. And I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've got the tappets in. And we're going to go after this front plate and then put the cam in. I've got the cam bearing in there. <clears throat> Don't forget to plug your oil, your main oil uh, galley. And let's see if you can see this okay. This is a new plug that I'm putting in here. And the plugs that I like to use, uh, I get them with sealer already installed on them. Uh, it's just the right amount of sealer. If you use anything else, uh, I don't know, uh, any kind of sealer. Um, sometimes the plug will get stuck in there and you don't want that. If you use the ones uh, with the sealer already on them, uh, it's, it's the exact right amount and you won't have any trouble. Um, sometimes I, I get an engine and somebody really put some real hard setting sealer on there and there's no way you could get the plug out and that's not what we want. So I use the, the pre-sealed ones and they work just perfect. Make sure you send that in so it's below the surface for when you put your plate on. You don't want that sticking out. So we're getting ready to put the cam in like I said. I'm going to take you over to the bench and show you why we had to replace his cam. Uh, I have a new old stock cam going in here and uh, I'll take you over to the bench now and show you what happened to his old cam. Okay, we've got you really zoomed in on the old cam. Here's your fuel pump eccentric. And I'm hoping you could pick up the lines in there. Uh, if I run my fingernail across there, uh, it's got some bad ridges in it. Uh, that indicates that we're through the hardness and we're wearing, uh, we're wearing that out. Uh, once you get through the hardness, this will go quickly and pretty soon your fuel pump won't work anymore. Uh, these cams are just, they're flame hardened um, when they're made and the hardness only goes in just a tiny bit. So once you get through that hardness, uh, you're going to have trouble. What I have here is a new old stock cam and that's what's going in there. <clears throat> and try and get you in on here. There's my cam gear. I like to use melling parts. There's a lot of no name brand timing gears out there. I used to have a whole bunch of new old stock ones, but I used all those already. Uh, melling still makes, I think, the best quality. There's the crank gear clearly marked your timing marks same thing right right you can see the mark right there and uh, everything lines up as it should and um, you know sometimes I see guys and they tell me they, they had their engine rebuilt for not a lot of money and then you look at the parts and they run them for a little bit and everything's all worn out uh, if you're going if you're going this deep and you have your engine this far apart, put the best quality parts in there that you can. Okay, now um, you've got to get your 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 camshaft end play correct, and there's not a lot of mystery to that. And the best way to to see what you got going on here is to measure your thrust plate. I'll try and get you in there. 180 and a half. Hope you can see that. Okay. Measure your spacer. It's 188 and a half. So, 
the difference between the two is your end plate. And you always want your spacer bigger than your thrust plate. And everything works out fine. You don't need to set up dial indicators or do anything like that. You just uh, measure the two. Make sure you got a difference in there of at least six thousandths. And, uh, and you're going to be alright. What I like to do is press the gear on first. I don't like to have the cam in and then and then bang the the uh, the gear on. So we'll load this stuff on. There's only one way this goes. There's a heavy bevel on this side and no bevel on the other side. Put the bevel in there. Put your plate on. We'll press the gear on and then we won't have to be hammering anything on there. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to get the gear pressed on there. Okay guys, we're just going to press the cam gear on. Always press it on with a with a plug like that so you're not putting pressure on on a on the actual gear. Press right down on that steel if you can. And uh, this is ready to get lubed up and put in the engine. Okay, guys, I've got the Felpro gasket kit open. You're going to get a couple different front plate covers. This is for the early chain drive motors. You don't want to use that one if you got a gear drive motor. That's the right one for the gear drive motor. Uh, I use the Felpro gaskets, and I've been probably using these for 30 years now. I don't have trouble with them. Uh, a lot of guys are using uh, other gasket kits, uh, non-brand name ones, or uh, the, the company that sends them with the copper head gasket. Uh, I do get a lot of guys uh, emailing me and telling me that the copper gaskets aren't working as good as they hoped. Um, it's up to you if you want to use that gasket. I prefer the Felpro gasket. A little bit of copper spray on this side. Um, I don't ever have any trouble with these. Uh, if you go with that copper one, uh, you know, that's your choice. Um, but try and stay away from the, the, the no-name uh, brand gaskets. Uh, again, you're this deep into it. Try and put the best parts in there that you can. So we're going to take that gasket and we're going to put the front plate on. And after that, we can get the cam in. Okay, guys, there's the gasket on there. Uh, this is not an application where you need any kind of sealer or anything. Uh, I've taken some engines apart where people completely coat this gasket with uh, RTV silicone. Uh, stick it to the block, stick it to the front plate. And those same engines have their pickup screen, their oil pickup screen, full of um, RTV. Uh, you just don't need that. Let the gasket do its job here. Put your front plate on. This has been cleaned, sandblasted, and epoxy primed. We'll put a nut and a bolt, and, and then we'll put these, these three bolts in. Uh, and that will seal everything up. Uh, and then we'll put the cam bolts in. So you don't need a ton of sealer on there. Uh, the gasket will seal. This is a machine surface. And this um, engine plate is very flat. Uh, it's not a place where you need to go crazy with sealant. Okay, before we put the cam in, uh, we've got a little bit real good. Uh, you may have heard stories about people ruining their cams on startup or not having the proper lube. This is the assembly lube I'm using now. It's a gel. Uh, it's called Mr. Race Oil. You can get it from Goodson. And um, Goodson.com or I think you can see the phone number there, 800-533-8010. Um, I don't have any special deal or anything with Goodson. Uh, they do have a lot of real nice engine building equipment for guys that build engines. 
Uh, I, I get some stuff from them. Uh, the assembly gel has been fantastic. And it's what I use exclusively now. And uh, I'm super happy with it. You give those guys a call and you tell them that Brian from YouTube, the Willie's Engine Builder, sent you. And uh, they'll get some right out to you. Uh, it's super, super good stuff. Uh, I've tried just about every different kind of of uh, assembly lube but this gel uh, it stays it sticks stays where you want it so we're gonna put this on every lobe every journal get a little on the bearing um, you can start to put that in as you go hoping you can see this okay so we'll sun's going in a little dark in here um, just make sure your hands are clean when you do it and uh, get it on there make sure it's on every surface and as you can see it's not running off as I'm installing the cam and that's what's nice about it it stays right where you put it and will stay there for a long time if you got your engine in storage uh, it'll stay there. It won't. It won't go away. Just be careful. A little bit at a time. I know this is probably like watching paint dry, but you got to make sure you get all your lobes and everything coated. Tappets are coated already when I put them in. Just little by little. Don't mess up your nice fresh bearing that you have in there. And this will ensure a good startup. And we pressure lube it anyway before they start. But um, make sure you're seeing that okay. And like I say, you're not going to find a better assembly lube out there. And believe me, I've tried every single one of them, and uh, it's just this this stuff is the best I've used. So, just telling you about it in case you uh, are putting an engine together. Okay, we will carefully get that guy in there. All right, and then we'll get our plate figured out and we'll bolt it up through the holes there and the cam will be installed okay guys when you go to bolt up your thrust plate make sure it's seated in there properly and just spin your cam you can see we can get that one and then spin it and you can get the lower one so just make sure you get those in there you get them tightened uh, I'm using new hardware here because the hardware that came out was not factory original hardware and uh, it's it's a it's a bolt from the factory it was a bolt with a star washer and uh, I just took out like regular hardware store um, bolts out of there and uh, we're not going to take a chance with those so we'll put some good um, USA made grade 8 stuff in there and uh, we'll be sure we don't have any trouble with that.